Hello, my name is Regina Pittman. I am with Child Care Resources. Today is Monday, July 20th, 2020. We are reading you an update from DCYF to changes to child care complaint visits. This is also available in Spanish and Somali. It went out this morning at 8.45 a.m. The changes to child care complaint visits. Dear child care providers, the Washington State Department of Children, Youth, and Families, DCYF, it's updating our practices related to complaint responses effective immediately. Child care and early learning programs that receive a complaint containing allegations of both a Washington Administrative Code, WAC, violation and child abuse and or neglect will now be visited separately. Previously, when there was a complaint that had allegations of child abuse and or neglect, a program might receive a visit from DCYF Licensing Division slash Child Protective Services investigator and a child care licensor at the same time. Our new practice is to do the visit separately. There are a number of reasons for this, including but not limited to. LD slash CPS and child care licensing have different sets of laws that direct their work. CPS focused its attention on allegations of abuse and neglect, and child care licensing focuses its attention on compliance with child care regulations. Some child care providers have requested LD slash CPS and child care licensing staff visits the program separately to follow up on a complaint allegations. DCYF hopes conducting visits separately will help keep the complaint investigation slash investigation as non-biased and clear as possible. LD slash CPS investigators and child care licensors will work separately and share information as needed to make sure the complaint is fully addressed in a fair and consistent way. Thank you for all you're doing for the health, safety, and education of our state's children. If you have any question, please contact your licensor.